morning guys so today is sorry to shut that door too um today is a day where i am basically getting ready to run out the door i'm gonna go check out a new place to walk my dog harley my brother was like come to this place it's where he walks his dog um so i'm gonna quickly run out the door and go do that and then i'm coming home and i am gonna get a little bit of work done so i thought i would just basically like take you guys with me um on this little day today and yeah hopefully we'll get some nice things done we'll talk work we'll talk some stuff that isn't work as well um and hopefully it'll just be like a nice day it's I am like dressed up in again I, I probably say this in so many more vlogs in one of Richard's jumpers I think this is from Reese and um, but I'm not 100% sure and it's just literally like the coziest jumper and I'm gonna put a big coat on because it's really um you see my wash in there it's really um gloomy today I'm gonna put a big coat on hat on I think I can just go like bundled up take Harley for a stroll come back do some um work and i might even because in my previous vlog if i've done this right um, and you guys have seen the one before um i was talking about trying to do a little bit of baking um as a kind of like pastime outside of like working on my businesses and stuff like that i don't know if i'm gonna be any good at it who knows but i'm gonna give it a try and like my little cake tins came today like literally i didn't realize i didn't even own any baking equipment i didn't even own a spoon i don't own a mixing bowl so i had to go and get all of that stuff just to try and see if baking was something i'd quite enjoy i'm going to come back hopefully try and do a little bit of that get a good bit of work done and hopefully have a little bit of exercise with Hal. so i'm going to go now so i'm not um running really late because i am already running really really late to meet my brother and um, but i'll see you guys when i'm back just gotten back from um the dog walk and um it was really really lovely nice to get out um and then on top of that we quickly went like a little bit of food shopping and i picked up a couple of things to help with my nice idea that i want to do of like doing some like baking and i've just in my previous vlog i explained like i have been fed a lot on instagram and tiktok a lot of like healthy baking recipes and they look really really amazing and i was just like I want to kind of like give it a go now i know unlike my business i am terrible with staying on top of like hobbies and things that i'm interested in my business it's a different story like i can just work on my business i have so many routines around it like i'm so structured with it um i had to teach myself how to do that mind and um, but i am whereas things like for example like i decide i want to take up cooking or i want to take up art or something i really struggle to stick with it so i'm not like putting too much pressure on myself it's just if i enjoy it to give it a go but now that i am back i am basically going to sit down and do a little bit of work it is quite dark outside i don't know if you guys can see actually if i actually went it's gone quite dark outside um so yeah basically we're going to be doing um i'll just sit down actually and have a quick talk with you guys about what i'm actually going to get done um for today and then we will move the other way um and then we will actually get on with it so let me get your stand and i will see you in a minute so i'm sorry if i look a little bit wind set it was lovely to get out and then um we took a bit longer than i thought we were going to take so i was planning on like being back a bit earlier today but that's fine i will just use my to-do list as i always do i'll just write a couple of things that i'd like to get done um inside of my business today and then i will just skip everything else that i was going to do today over um to tomorrow because that's when i can next work my business um but i thought to like basically just catch you guys up with how i'm getting on with my business so basically at the moment i am prepping a um the end of this month so depending on when this comes out and when i'm able to to share this video i'm planning on having a launch yeah i'm having a launch at the end of this month i'll just check it was this month um, and so i'm going to start slowly and suddenly getting those things into place um tomorrow i think it is or the day after i need to check i don't know what day it is to be honest like i'm just ah it is it's tomorrow so tomorrow i'm going to be releasing um 
um, a workload which is like a, a big kind of like chunk of content into my even those office membership i have all of that prepped all of that is done it's a really cool challenge that's going into there and it just is going to help guide people through navigating you know setting their business goals and how to break that down really clearly so they can work on it step by step um, and that's going into the office so i've got all of that ready to go i just want to check the finishing touches with that um, and then i have a new series of products which are going to be coming out into my etsy shop over the next couple of months um, and i've worked so hard on these i've put so much love and passion into them like around business and helping and supporting with business i'll definitely share like in um, future videos more about these but they're basically a series of workbooks and planners that are like your easy access when you need you know you just want something to have to grab and to help you through setting up a business or getting organized inside of your business and these are all of the systems and the tools and the methods that i use to help me build my business um, and i wanted to like put them and break them down into workbooks and resources and planners that you can purchase straight from my etsy shop and it's like the first time that i'm doing that in a while and um, because i just i just was so inspired to work on it so basically i have those that i'm finishing off creating and i'm almost at the end of it um, and then i'm going to put putting those into my shop but speaking of i thought like let's actually like share this or talk about this a little bit because i think this is something that like so many of us who are like online business owners but also if you're thinking about becoming a business owner or an online business owner something that i have definitely experienced again with building these products and putting these products into my shop slowly and steadily um, is like I've definitely had that experience and I've had this so many times in my business where like I'm like right I know exactly what I want to do I know exactly what I want to create and I start creating it and I start working on it and then it just seems to take time to get it to like finished to the finish point and like I'm there going through it I'm like this should be done by now like I should have this completed by now I should be you know I should be way ahead of where I am by now and it was actually a kind of like a really valuable experience because for a while now I've been working on things inside of my business that I already have up and running and you know just growing and scaling them and I kind of had not forgotten because I think it's really tedious you don't forget it but i think i hadn't experienced in a while what so many like new online creators and online business owners so many people inside of you know my my membership as well talk about that kind of like when you know exactly what you want to do inside of your business you know the product that you want to create or you know the um for example that you want to set up a youtube channel or you want to grow your social media and then you basically start doing it and you have in your head just this like expectation that it's going to be like relatively fast. And even though you're kind of like, no, no, I'm going to pace myself. I know it's going to take time. You still have in the back of your head like, oh, I hope it happens really quickly. Like, I hope I get this product created really quickly or I hope that this channel grows really quickly or this platform grows really quickly. And then when you actually start building it you are reminded of what it's like when even though in your head you know exactly what you want to do actually like transferring that into the real online world and actually putting all of those things together takes so much more time and energy than you thought that it was originally going to take and i know that this is somewhere that so many people like they start their business they get so excited about building up a digital product business and they're like yes this is the thing that i want to do i know exactly what i want to do how i want to put it into place and then they hit that point where they start putting everything together and it just feels like it's taking so much longer it's taking so much longer to set up the platform or it's taking longer to do the research on the products that you want to create or create the products or to you know add and build up your inventory or to then you know it takes so much longer than you thought to start getting traffic in and start getting sales in and it just feels like it just takes so much longer um, to actually get to where you already are in your head and i thought like i just wanted to like talk about this on my channel because i've totally experienced this so many times and i know that this is the point that a lot of people choose to give up on that business or that business idea because it's just not moving as fast as they wanted it to or even if they thought you know i'm going to take my time with this business that we set like an expectation ahead of how long it should take particularly when we've been watching like other online creators and they're like you can get this set up in like days or you know you can build this whole youtube channel or this whole tiktok or this whole instagram or whatever it is in a matter of weeks and you can have hundreds of thousands of followers and then you start putting your stuff out there and it's nowhere near that volume or you start creating that digital product and it's just moving tediously slowly to put it together 
whatever or that platform to get there and you become disheartened and you give up and definitely experiencing that with like the new planners and workbooks that I've wanted to create it you know even just in like day-to-day -day life I'm sorry this is just like probably such a boring conversation but like even in day-to-day -day life I sometimes feel like the minute that I decide this is the product that I want to create or this is the element of my business I want to work on sometimes it feels like like everything else comes and jumps in front of it and is like what well, we need to deal with me before you can get to that and then me before you can get to it and then me before you and you're there like I'm never getting anything done on this piece that I need to do or on this thing that I need to achieve and I, for weeks I've been feeling like that like I knew what I wanted to create I knew I wanted to create these planners and these workbooks I know exactly how I want to lay them out and the minute I would sit down at my laptop to try and start making progress on them getting them done would be 15 other things would pop up that I would need to do and by the end of the day I've barely done anything on that and the only thing that I can say about it, like because I've experienced it, I can't, there's no magic trick I don't think about, you know, that you can do to make sure that, you know, it moves as fast as you want it to. The only thing that I've been able to do is like, I just try and like relax into it. I know that it is a goal that I'm eventually going to achieve. And if it takes me a little bit longer, which it will do, take me longer to, you know, create those products or to set up that platform or to build that audience or whatever it is that all I have to do is keep trying to find when I can a little bit of time to work on it and if it's not as much time as I wanted to work on it that day that's fine just roll it over and keep working on it I think I have like two options one is to just go oh do you know what it's never going to happen and then just throw it away and go off and never to be come back a year later trying to do it again or what I now try and do, which is I just go, okay, it didn't work today. I didn't manage to get much done. I'm just going to quickly look at it to know that this is something that needs to stay in, in my forefront of my mind. And then tomorrow I'm going to try and work on it again. And if I don't get anything done on it again, I'm going to quickly look at it again. Then I'm going to write down in my to-do list. I need to work on that the next day and I'm going to come back on it. And it doesn't matter how many days it takes me to start to actually get time, actually get progress inside of that element of my business. It's just something that rolls over to the next day and the next day and the next day. But it has to be in the forefront of my mind that I intend to work on that. I intend to work on that. Because I think what happens so often with things like that, particularly at the start of your business journey, when you're not seeing money coming in and sales coming in, and it's just you with a passion to achieve this thing, when things keep getting in the way, it's so easy to just go, do you know what, it's just not meant to be, and to just walk off and leave it. But what I actually think is, it's almost like, and again, it's just me being silly, but it feels sometimes a little bit of a test for my business in terms of like, okay, you really want to create this? then I'm going to put you through the ringer for a little bit to make sure you really want to create this. And if you do want to create it, then I'm going to open the doors up and you have time to work on this. Now, in reality, I think it's more probably like, you know, things just take priority over this new goal that I want to work on, this new product or platform that I want to work on for a while. But then because I keep it in the forefront of my mind, when those gaps of time start to come into place and when those things that I've committed to, you know, they stop for a bit and I would normally renew them because it's now such a priority for me that I want to find time to get that product done. I basically end up like slipping into the next available time gap and then I'm able to just free up and work on it so much more. I know it's such a weird thing to talk about but I was just like basically just thinking about it and then I was also thinking like today is one of those days where I had a plan that I wanted to get some work done and um, it's kind of gone down the window and that seems to be consistently happening with my planners and my workbooks but it's okay I'm just going to find a little bit of time in my um, planner and now that I've got a little bit of time free I'm going to try and do a little bit of work on it and it's not going to be a full day's work like I had planned that I'd like to do but that's what it is. I'm just going to try and find a little bit of work. So with that being said, anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on. Um, I'm going to actually now just write my to-do list down. But I'm going to keep it really minimal. I'm going to keep at the forefront of it. That I want to do something with my planners. Um, I want to try and get like a couple of things at least finished in there. So I feel like I've made a little bit of progress. And also I've got a number of videos that I want to get prepped for the Evenos office membership as well. Because we're talking about some really interesting things at the moment. So I'm going to time lapse you. And uh, let's get to work. Windswept and all, completely out of schedule, what I was planning on doing, 
but we're just going to put a little bit of time in that's all i can ask myself to do today i'll see you at the end of uh, this time lapse Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were here? Morning waking that I really like to do when I'm creating like printable planners, printable workbooks, even printable art, but I use a little bit of a different paper for that. I always like to print them out once I've created them. I just have like a really like inexpensive printer that I just keep in my office. And its main purpose is for me to print out any kind of like actual printables that I'm gonna be selling on my Etsy shop or on any of my platforms. And um, or even printables that like are free printables that I might offer as incentives and things like that. And um, just because I like to make sure everything's just like aligned nicely and um, everything's clear when you print it out. If I'm using like paler colours or anything um with any text or anything, I just want to make sure that it's all legible um, when you actually come to print out my product. So one of the things that I do like to do, not everybody likes to do this and I you know I completely understand you can pretty much get a really pretty confident feel of how your design is going to look printed out using the amazing graphic programs that they have now like um, Canva and things like that. But I, I do just like to just print things out. So because I'm working on a new workbook, in fact, I might even show you guys a little sneak peek at it. And um, because I'm working on a new workbook, I just like to make sure that, and also there's a lot of pages in this workbook and some of them are more complicated than others because they need to be. And um, so I'm just gonna print out in particular the ones that are a bit more complicated and um, just to make sure everything's aligned and things like that. Again, it's just something I like to do. You don't have to do that if you create printable planners and printable workbooks, um, but it is really important that you make sure that everything just looks um, high quality you know when you are creating it so and also obviously you make sure that you're using the right format for someone to print it out on as well but basically I thought actually uh, that would be a good thing for me to do to show you guys a little sneak peek um, at some of at the, the big product that's coming into my Evenos um, Etsy shop soon so let me just show you. So I thought it'd be kind of cool um, to show you a little bit of behind the scenes of the newest planner coming in. And this planner is actually huge because basically it's a huge bundle of all of the things that you need when you are thinking of creating an online business particularly something like a digital product business, but it's not exclusive to that because it could be a dropship business, whatever business you like. It could be an influencer or you know a content creator business. But really, this is about providing everything that you need so that you have it all in one place, all the pages that you'd need to work through to help you stay organized with building your business. And I just called it, again, this is like a working title, so I'm not sure if this is what I'm gonna keep it as um, when it actually comes out. I will drop it in the description box below if it is already out. But basically I've just called it for now the simple business planner because that's how I like to build my business as simply as possible. And um, again, I've talked to you guys about the fact that you don't need to have a really complex digital product business with you know hundreds of thousands of followers and huge sales and traffic systems and loads of paid advertising or anything like that to have a successful full-time business that brings you in your income. And I wanted to just basically create a planner and a series of planner pages and worksheet pages that means that you could just basically get started with building your own online business from complete scratch and you can just keep it as simple as possible and build it to the level that you want to build it and I won't go into everything that it has to offer but you have um, your create your business goals and then you have a whole section that is dedicated to helping you get organized with your business it goes in depth with each element um, and if I show you here because Etsy and I me to do this 
you have your create your business goals page and these are ignore these work you're literally seeing the behind the scenes so you see how much work i have swapped and changed so many things to get this right this is literally everything that i run inside of my business i've broken it down to really clear sections and it's everything that you'll need to basically get your business started up and running so we have a goal section which has many goals pages then we have your business identity section which helps you work out your core values values in your business, what your business is about, who it's trying to serve, how it's trying to serve them, all of the things that you cannot build a online business without or it's just a big struggle. And we have your visual branding where you can work through all of the things that you need when you're building up an online brand, including logos and the fonts that you want to use and why you want to use them so you know that you are serving your audience as you do it. as market research, target audience research. We also have my social media strategy in here so you can break everything down super simply. And there's so much more in here as well. It is a huge bundle of worksheets and resources to help you with building your business. And I'm gonna add this into my Etsy shop for anybody who's just looking for that help, support, anyone who wants to build an online business this year and they just want everything in one go. I've had so many five-star reviews from my Ultimate Etsy workbook, which is a smaller but like more focused on Etsy workbook that I also have inside of my shop. So I'll link that as well if you want to check that out. If you're thinking, do you know what? I want to build specifically an Etsy business this year. That's a great workbook. But this one is like also completely complimentary because this helps you look at the bigger picture when building your business and understanding how to grow your business and how to reach your audience and how to create the right products inside of your business and made sure that it is exactly how I would look at building my business um, from the ground up. So that is the newest product that's coming into my shop. It's taken me, this is the one I was talking about, it's took me so much longer because I've wanted to make sure everything is smooth and explains how to build a business. It's a workbook just as much as it is a planner. So there's help, there's prompts in there, there's guides in there to make sure that you are building your business in the right way and you're putting everything into place. But again, it is a big bundle um, of helpful resources all in one that you can purchase. And what I might do later on is I break it down um, so you can also purchase other elements. Uh, what I'll do is I will leave a link to this if it's open, if it's available yet, um, I'll leave it underneath the video. I know how difficult and how nerve wracking it can be to build an online business and to not even know where to start and what you should be doing first. And that's why I, I just, I'm dedicated to creating resources that just make it super simple for you. So anyway, back over here, put you back where you were. So basically I've just been working on that for a bit. I've just been getting the finishing touches. There's still, as you can see, as of where I am now, there's still a few things that I wanna get finished. I need to do the cover of, I need to do all the finishing touches. And again, I'm gonna print everything out just to make sure that I'm confident um, that everything looks good when it's printed out. Um, but again, I will leave a link to all of the resources that I mention in this video, of course, in the description box below, as well as the link to Simple Business Planner if that's the name that I keep it as, it might have changed by the time that you look at it. Um, but I'll leave a link to that as well, as well as the Ultimate Etsy workbook, which is a five-star seller, which is absolutely wonderful. So yeah, it's just, I, I don't know how long this video is going to be, um, but I just wanted to basically just do a little bit of a video where I just talk you through some of the things that I'm doing and working on. I show you how I kind of juggle in you know, I'm actually on, as we speak right now, I'm on my second timer because I stopped at the 30 minute timer um, and I now have left three minutes of my 30 minute timer, which is perfect timing for me to finish up my vlog um, and then call it um, an evening really. So yeah, I just, I honestly wanna just, first of all, like thank you guys before I go, sorry, I wanna just thank you guys so much for like the support on my YouTube channel. It means the world to me that you guys watch my YouTube videos, you watch my vlogs, like some of you coming along and watching my vlogs is so wonderful um, and it's always wonderful. So please, if you want to share with me like how you're doing inside of your business, what you're up to, what you're working on, I would love that. Just leave it in the comment section below because I love getting to know you guys and knowing the things that you want to work on inside of your business if you have one or if you're thinking about starting a business like what are you excited to start and build and create your income from and um, i always love to know and 
yeah i just wanted to also say as well before i go i hope you don't find these bugs too boring or anything like that but i always just think it could be quite helpful to you know watch somebody else just work on their business and their goals in their day-to-day -day life and how they fit it in because sometimes in the online world it can feel really like like a like it's almost like a mechanical or like a machine so when you see like build, building a business and creating a business promoted online a lot of the time it's like you just start a business and then in a couple of days you're making crazy amounts of money and everything's running really smoothly and then you can scale it to crazy amounts and it just feels like it's just this perfect linear thing which i think causes so many people when they actually start building a business to get really disheartened really quick and to give up really quick because they think well everyone else it looks so easy and then for me i'm really struggling i'm not making any progress i'm barely able to work on it like how is everyone else doing and hopefully maybe me giving a little bit of a behind the scenes of how i try and work on my business and the reality of the day to day and that sometimes it is you know ups and downs of building a business and i am by no means a huge business owner that is you know not my thing but i make enough to earn a full-time income sometimes to earn amazing amounts online and that have helped me create the lifestyle that i have now and if i can share how i'm doing that and how i'm growing and scaling that and you know making my way over time to build my businesses then i think that could be quite helpful for some some of you guys who want to watch my vlogs and my youtube videos i'm going to stop now and um, because i'm going to call it an evening um, and just go downstairs and yeah hopefully tomorrow i'm going to do some baking and see how that gets on um but i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one definitely don't forget to check the description box below for all of the links i just really put everything in there that i have personally used the methods that i think the way that i put things together to just make building my business a lot smoother to keep me accountable with building it and to help me stay on track with its progress i'll see you in the next video guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy these vlogs bye